Hey guys, Ratchet Reviews here again, back with another video review. I realize it has been a very long time since I have done this. Um, yeah, real life gets in the way. I've moved back and forth a couple times. Just stuff's happened here and there and um, haven't really gotten a good chance to do anything in terms of this. So... I'm taking the time now to go ahead and get another review out just to say, hey, I'm still alive, still doing the stuff that I like to do and still providing content for those of you who like to watch my stuff. Um, and I wanted to start off again doing something a little bit different, just a tiny bit different. It's nothing like too extreme, not like doing a figure art or anything like that. Uh, today I will be reviewing my King X Kaiser from 1990, uh, the Brave series, uh, the Brave X Kaiser. Now, for those of you who don't know, the X Kaiser series uh, was a joint venture between Takara Tomy and Sunrise after Transformers was dying out in Japan, where basically the series, the animation studio that provides us Gundam. And the toy company that provided us Transformers team up together to make a Super Robot series. series. And it lasted from 1990 to 1997. And this is the first Brave that we get to see. Now, here is X Kaiser in his very sporty family car mode. Uh, it rolls very well. It's mostly white. There is a lot of... There's blue and red as the... The... Other details, blue for the cockpit area here, and then red for these uh, fenders on the side. A lot of detail, since this is 1990, was not to painting on the figure. It was mostly stickers. As you can see, there is stickers here that are very worn and very faded, coming off in some areas. And then there is a nice uh, tiger emblem there, or lion emblem, rather. And then green on the inside of those... Uh, flares to symbolize taillights, I suppose. Um, now, to tell what kind of size he is, I brought out my last night Bumblebee. Um, this is the same mold as Age of Extinction, so unfortunately I don't have the Age of Extinction version anymore to show off. So I'm taking him out and showing him up with uh, X Kaiser just to show the uh, the scale. Now, as you can see, X Kaiser is bigger than the standard deluxe of today. I uh, I feel like he is about around the same size as what they would uh, what deluxes were back in 2003 during Armada. And unfortunately, I don't have any Armada figures anymore to uh, show that off with. But so there he is. He rolls really nice. Um, he does also come with this big thing called the King Loader, which is a giant, which is a car carrier trailer, basically. Although, it doesn't really have any car carrier function, so it's just basically a, a trailer. Um, now, this is a reverse Optimus Prime situation where when X, unlike when Optimus would transform, the trailer would just disappear. Uh, X Kaiser, on the other hand, when he transforms into his regular robot mode, he'll call upon this, and uh, and combine with it when the situation calls in standard Super Robot fashion. And I did want to point out there is a way that he can combine. As you can see, there is a nice uh, peg right there, and there is these little sticker pieces for the blue that resemble what. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a driver's seat. If you take the uh, the panels and fold them up, you can notice on the inside of this one there's a little piece that swings out. After you get those folded up, you can swing that piece out and it locks them together. And that will form a trailer hitch. So, X Kaiser can haul around the King Loader. And we can get this out of the way for right now and come back to it in a bit. And so we're going to focus again on X Kaiser. I'm going to go ahead and get him transformed. So first we're going to fold up that flap and take the back section and split it out. 
Next is going to fold the red panels up and see how this piece comes up and folds away on the back. Then you could start straightening the arms out and folding the legs and unfold the feet and then separate the legs out and there we have X Kaiser in his completed robot mode or his regular standard robot mode actually uh, to finish off the transformation when he comes in rolling into battle uh, after he gets to this part he will then flip open his chest revealing the lion face on his chest Lions, of course, symbolizing courage, and the series is called Brave, after all, so... That is him in the robot mode. As you see, he does use a lot of the bulk of his vehicle mode really well to get to his robot mode, as opposed to Transformers of today basically just hiding themselves underneath the vehicle. And so, take a look at some of the details here. A uh, very nice face sculpt, very nice uh, head sculpt overall, red on the helmet. Uh, we got a nice gold chrome crest on his head. Nice bright green eyes come down to the lion face and again green eyes and black stripe going up the nose and up the forehead. Uh, there is a little bit of a loose piece here. I don't understand what it's there for. It doesn't really do much for anything. Um, again, a lot of the detail comes from the vehicle mode, but we do have extra blue on the arms and white, and blue for the legs, and a nice little red skirt on the front. So, he's very nice. Uh, posability wise he's pretty static. Not too bad, but this is... Whoa! Knocked my camera. Um, this is... 1990s Transformers level. So, due to transformation, he kind of does have this little bit of a butterfly joint in the shoulder. There's no articulation in the head, no waist articulation either. Uh, the shoulder does come out like this and does rotate forward. And again, that's all transformation. Uh, the actual joint here, he does have a bit of a double, double hinged elbow. No wrist articulation. His legs, they can split out, do the splits, which that is actually completely useless because with all the other posability that he has, he can't really pull off anything convincing with those, with that bit of posability, and it's useless in the King X Kaiser mode. But also due to the transformation, we do have a bend at the knee, and we kind of do have a little bit of a sunken in toe. So he can kind of get a little bit of a walking pose in, but he doesn't have enough of a stability to keep it there. Like I said, this is like late 90s, or early 90s, late 80s design process. So basically what you would expect out of a later G1 series. Again, since I'm not going to take the time to transform it, here is the same Bumblebee as before, just standing up on his back. And like I mentioned, it does um, use that mass of his vehicle mode better than what Transformers of today use. And also going to show off the Last Night Voyager class Optimus Prime, just to get a good idea of what he would stand compared to Voyager. Again, Optimus, since the new line of Voyagers is a lot smaller than before, um, I feel like this feels a lot like a Armada-sized Deluxe. And so, not bad. Uh, X Kaiser himself isn't bad. He's pretty fun to play with. Uh, going back and forth to car mode and posing him up a little bit. But that's not really what uh, Super Robot anime fans want. They don't want just okay. They want awesome and big and cool. And that's what the King Loader is for. So we bring the King Loader in. He uh, In the show, he would just call out the King Loader and bring it up. And it would roll into battle on its own autonomously. 
And then at this point, it would unfold the wings and fold up these panels, which actually is kind of like a, uh, kind of like a flight mode. You know, you can pretend it as. So from here, to get from the flight mode, you can pull these wheels up and fold them out. Come along on the other side and do the same. And then fold these down. One click on the little ratchet. It's a kind of a strange ratchet system. And then you can kind of see how the robot's going to come uh, from this way. If we back out a little bit and expose what's going on behind my backdrop and everything but so whoa I'm going down the wrong way so after after we get to this point you can we can fold the this piece back and then open up this panel fold these down open this up and open those up leaving a very empty cavity that the king loader has and at this point, we then can take X Kaiser and fold his arms up and then just slide him in. Like so. And then we can just start closing everything back up. You do want to close up the legs first because if you close up the torso, well, you can close up the arms or the legs first, but you have to make sure that those are closed up. The legs are closed up before the torso because the torso is going to peg into these pegs right here. And when that pegs down, I don't know how well my camera is going to show it off, but here, I'll bring it closer, actually. As the uh, torso comes down, the face... Here we go. The face of King X Kaiser folds in. And then you can pull push that tab down there to spring out the lion uh, the lion face for his chest. And there we have King X Kaiser in his full robot mode. Very very cool. Very imposing. I do like this a lot. Um Whoa, I am trying to fix my tripod here, and it's not wanting to cooperate. All right, so, yeah, as I said, very nice, very tall, very big in uh, just overall mass, King X Kaiser, and just also very fun to transform back and forth. Unfortunately for play-wise, that's all he's got. Posability is just reduced to a elbow joint. And coming along here at the details, take a look at the face. Now we do have a uh, face plated up face with a lot of pointed, a lot of pointed angled edges around the head sculpt, as well as again a gold chrome crest coming out. Uh, gold chrome on the mane for the lion face and again bright green eyes painted on for X Kaiser but then stickers for the lion face uh, we do have some really cool detailing right there with the uh, Kaiser logo right there and then some cool like wing decals there some red striping on the front skirt some extra silver paint for the thighs and then some yellow stickers here uh, again show how much bigger he's gotten since he was in X Kaiser mode here is Bumblebee and here is Optimus Prime yeah that's that's gotten pretty big and also there's one other thing of playability that he has is that he does include the Kaiser Sword, which just folds out of this panel over here and then folds out. Now, it is just a plain plastic white sword, but it can fit in his hand and it is really small. 
but and very flappy because of the way the blade comes out but oh well it's it is what it is like I said it is late 80s early 90s engineering and design so it's not like they had much to go with I'm gonna give it a pass since it's just late late G1 so it is also really cool I do really like this if you do have a passing interest in uh, Japanese mecha anime I would give uh, the Brave series a try I've not watched all of the Brave series yet. I have watched the King of Braves Gao Gaigar and It's OVA Gao Gaigar Final. And that's actually what brought me into this series itself. Thanks to Evangelist and TJ Omega for that. Um, but each Brave series does have its own little charm to it and its own mix of characters. A lot of really cool robot designs and... I'll, I do have a few more of these uh, Brave figures that I plan on reviewing in the future. I just wanted to go ahead and get this one done and out with right now so I can uh, get back to work on everything else that's going on. Um, but overall, like I said, very nice, very cool, also very plain on the back, I forgot to mention, with the sticker here kind of resembling some thruster detail. But again, really cool. I do like this a lot. Now, this, they're, these are very hard to come by, especially getting them complete and in good condition. So, I would only recommend it if you are a hardcore collector and would be able to uh, shell out the extra cash in being into grabbing these. Because otherwise, they're not really all that fun, especially if you only have one. Because there are some that combine, like this guy combines with somebody later. Um, oh man, fly goes in my view screen. Anyways, um, so there's a lot to choose from. Um, just overall really cool. Uh, like I said again, I do really like this. I like the way it looks. I like the way it functions. And I want to show off more of these. I love playing around with them. It's, it's kind of like... A, tra a Power Rangers Megazord in terms of playability, but for some reason these just feel a lot uh, they feel different in a way to where it's uh, not bad different, but unique different, and that's what I like about it. Uh, something that you don't really see that much every day, and uh, a gem of an old time that I kind of wish would get brought back but anyways, this has been my review of the King, of the Brave fight, uh, the Brave X Kaiser's King X Kaiser Deluxe figure. Um, don't forget to take a look at any of my other reviews. Uh, stop by the channel if you like what I do. Subscribe and just let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys again next time. Take care. Bye.